This tutorial will show you how to perform an advanced search in Medline. The advanced search allows you to perform an in-depth search on your topic by using medical subject headings. Subject headings describe topics found in journal articles in a consistent and systematic way, allowing you to find articles on your topic even when your search terms don't match the exact terms used in the article. In order to use the subject headings, leave the Map Term to Subject Heading box selected. In contrast to the basic search, with the advanced search you look for one concept at a time. The first step is breaking your topic into key concepts. You are asked, does chewing gum prevent ear infections? The first term we will enter is ear infection. This represents our patient population. This maps you to a list of subject headings. Select the heading that is most relevant to your topic. In this case, the heading Medline uses for ear infection is otitis media. To find out exactly what the term means and how it is used, click on the scope note. Here we find a definition of the term and examples of other terms this subject heading is used to represent in the database. If you go back to the previous page, you will be able to click on the subject heading link. This brings you to what is called the heading tree. The tree shows you how your term relates to others in Medline. It starts with really broad categories that then get narrowed down to ever more specific terms within the branches of the tree. You have the option to select either the Explode or Focus functions. Selecting Auto Explode means that any narrower terms than your own will be included in the search. If you select Focus, this will only retrieve articles where this term has been determined to be the main focus of the article. You may want to select Focus if your search is returning an unmanageable number of results. Once you have selected the parameters of your search, click the Continue button at the top of the screen. On the following page, you will be able to select subheadings that will restrict your search to specific aspects of your term. We typically recommend that you simply hit Continue, especially if you're trying to do a really comprehensive search. This will include all subheadings in your search. Next, you would repeat these steps using your second search term. In our case, chewing gum is the intervention used on our patient population. If you feel comfortable, you can bypass the step where you look at the tree and hit the Continue button from the first subject heading page. Auto Explode, where all the more specific terms will be included, is selected by default. To combine both of your searches, check the box beside each and combine them with AND. We do this because we are looking for articles that are about both chewing gum and otitis media, not one or the other. Search number three is a set of articles that covers both chewing gum and ear infections. You would then look at the results to find a study that answers the initial question, does chewing gum prevent ear infections? For more help, please contact the John W. Scott Health Sciences Service Desk.